it's wonderful that you can all be here. We just had a great uh, afternoon, fantastic presentations, and a particularly interesting panel discussion at the end, which is uh, very challenging, interesting, very insightful. Oh, Mervyn's here. I thought, I thought the combination of the three of you was marvelous. So uh, I have to mention, uh, so let me just begin by first of all saying it's great to see some generations of leadership of the financial markets group here. We've got the founders, we've got Mervyn. Is, I don't know, is David Walker joined us here? Yes. So David is here and Charles is here. So it goes back a long time. It was actually 1987 that the financial markets group uh, started. Uh, Mervyn, being a wonderful weather forecaster, uh, decided that the, you know, the opening event for the financial markets group should be the 19th of October, 1987. <laughs> <laughs> Which coincided with the, uh, the crash and the, uh, the 87 crash and a hurricane. Anyway, there you go. An, an auspicious beginning, I think they're called. <laughs> and from that time, the group has obviously moved on. It's done extraordinarily well. One of the great things about the group, of course, has not just been, you know, I think we've had fortunate uh, the, to be at the LSE. We've exploited the opportunities. The group has grown and so on. But we've had great students. I mean, I always prided myself on the ability when I was head of the financial markets group after Mervyn left and they couldn't find anybody else to do it other than me and uh, I think it was a wonderful opportunity for me and I have to say it was difficult but I enjoyed doing it. It was actually the hardest job I ever had at the LSA. I was head of the finance department I was pro director and CFO of this place but running the financial markets group was harder because <laughs> you had to keep the money coming in which, which, was, which was quite challenging Mervyn. I think you've told me at the time that it wasn't as easy as you might think. But anyway the group has had a wonderful history and of course, one of the things we've always had was wonderful students. And today, um, we're actually going to open the Charles Goodart Library. But the Charles Goodart Library is endowed, which is a new thing at the LSE to have endowed things. We're not like Harvard and Stanford and so on with huge endowments, but we're getting better. But we rely upon people that are committed to those things that we judge to be really important, academic endeavor. And we're very fortunate that the library that we're going to open today has been endowed with a very generous gift, gift from Jacob Horder, standing here. Now I should say, those of you that go to the library a little later, if you look around very carefully, you'll find a, you'll find a picture of me standing with Jacob. <laughs> and, uh, uh, with hair. Jacob actually, actually, you don't look that different, but you had a better hair. You, better did, hair. you did have a better. <laughs> Jacob's got what's called locally a number zero. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and I think it's something like that anyway. Uh, uh, and uh, anyway, the generous, there's a picture of the two of us together. You can only see the side of my head. Uh, but Jacob's actually laughing in this picture, which might surprise you. That means I must have said something that was funny, or you just thought I was so peculiar it was the only way to respond. <laughs> anyway. Um, so let me just say a little bit about Jacob, because Jacob, I, I always, I used to get Margaret Bray when I was head of the financial markets group to give me all the MSc marks so that I could beat the CEP to get the best students, and it worked really well. And hang on, I ended up in the CEP. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I was, I was just about. I was just about. I was just. A, that was my line. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's got my line. My line was, well, I got this one wrong. And he ended up in the CEP, but I'm going to reach a connection here. I know that I don't want to bore these people for too long, but I have to, I'm going to meet a connection with you. Don't worry. So Charlie Bean ended up being Jacob's supervisor, and I think that you had a good relationship with Charlie. I read, your, I read a bit of your PhD, by the way, just to find out a little bit, a few clues. However, as... One of the things that happened was the financial markets group was moved out of the Lionel, uh, of the Lionel Robbins building, where we had, Mervyn had the original space, to 20 Kingsway. It was actually better space than, than, than the Lionel Robbins, because the Lionel Robbins was poor. I mean, Mervyn got the space. We got some fantastic rent. It was, by the way, 30, 35 pounds per square foot in the good old days. That was quite a bit. 
and that and we and it came with a fresh supply of, of water through the holes in the roof. It was a, 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 sta a staggering space. But ya ya Jacob, in his time as a PhD student, was fortunate enough to meet a number of people who had quite a lot of influence on him. So let me just give you a few names and why it's actually we've played a small role in this. And thinking of uh, Jacob eventually spent part of his PhD training at the fabulous University of Chicago. Correct. Correct. See, I know more than you think. And at the university, when he, and now the people that have influenced him, along with Charlie, and uh, clearly members of the economics department, some great PhD students we have contemporaries like Ellen Ray yeah, yeah. and uh, Tommaso Valletti. Yeah. There you go. And, but, he, but I know that you were heavily influenced by Robert Townsend, mm -hmm. Ed Green yeah. and Tom Sargent. That's correct. Correct. Yeah. Well, let me just say a little bit about this. So, John Moore and I helped you because we got the BP professorship ah. for, town, for, for, uh, for Ed Green. Okay. Ed Green was arguing, there's some wonderful people in this room today, and I, I know and love many of you, but I have to say, in my opinion, it's hard to imagine there was anybody ever in the economics profession nicer exactly. than Ed Green. <laughs> who's sadly no longer with us. But uh, then, of course, there's Townsend, who visited the Financial Markets Group. And then there's Sargent. I don't know whether you met Sargent in Chicago at the LSE, but he did visit the LSE. Oh, he met him here. And this is relevant to space, because I rescued Tom Sargent. Because Tom Sargent came here as a BP, or whatever it was, professor as well, and he was located in the Center for Economic Performance. And I was told he was very unhappy there. This is before Richard Layard had discovered ha happiness as a research area. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 uh, and so I was told to, by wonderful Bob Nobe to go and visit Tom Sargent in the CEP. And lo and behold, he was there in a windowless closet <laughs> and I said, I can give you a better office, which I did. And he moved to the financial markets group eventually. Well, I don't know where you, whether that, you came over to see him, but that's where he was for his, the, the period he was hit, visiting. So in that sense, I think maybe I kept him on the premises for long enough for you two guys to get together. That was, that was very positive. Of course, at Chicago, um, now this is going to surprise you that I know this, right? Yeah, Jakob met his I believe that's where he met his wife. Correct. His wife is called Sindhu V. And I actually know about Sindhu V because you know, I'm not a big time researcher like these guys these days. I've done a lot of administration and so on, but uh, you know, more than most. But I did, um, I did listen to horrible histories <laughs> when, when your wife was on, on it. And, and, and there's a guy called the guy runs it, it's quite interesting, and they use somebody, in this particular case, a comedian, to, to, to sort, of, uh, sort of intervene and get the discussion going. And I did listen to it from the beginning to the end because he was brilliant in the program. I forget it was about the Tudors or something or other. But that was absolutely wonderful. I also know why, I also know why your wife is called Sindhu V. At least I think, I've got a theory, a hypothesis. <laughs> I'm gonna test a hypothesis here, yeah? She's got a very, very long name, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. beginning with the letter V. Yeah. So I assume she's called S Sindhu V yeah. because none of you can pronounce the real name. That's correct. There you go. It's wonderful. <laughs> so, so my, my, uh, my, my, my boss used to call her Alphabet. Well, it was so long. <laughs> it is a staggering yeah, name. Yeah, exactly. So no, look, you don't want to listen to me much for, for, for any longer, but I, I have to say that uh, there's so many talented and wonderful colleagues in this room today. You know, we've got people like John Moore, Raphael Rapolo, you know, stars of the show. We've got the history of the financial markets group in the room to us today, particularly, as I say, Sir David, Mervyn, and Charles. And uh, we've got the current leadership of the financial markets group standing uh, hi here. And of course, I, ha I have to say, we've got our Charles here. And I have to say, personally, as I've said this before, he hates me saying these things, right? But one of the great pleasures of my life, by the way, Sushil Wadwani's here, Sushil's here, Andy and Tonks, who I did the ESRC Research Center grant with. But I have to say that working with, you guys are great, but working with Charles <laughs> all, 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 all these years 
was absolutely fantastic. You know, we go back to teaching undergraduate monetary economics, which I know you took. Yes. Right? That's after I'd moved on, I think. Uh, otherwise, you would have gotten me, and then you wouldn't be here today. <laughs> but but uh, to getting taught by Charles meant you got a good knowledge of the relationship of theory to, to a lot of understanding of how the institutions worked. And I think it's almost what Mervyn and other people have sort of said, that's so important that that's done well. The thing is, you need to know all that stuff. That's the problem. And Charles, of course, is unique almost in our profession in having this incredible institutional and historical knowledge. And pe students of his have always benefited from that. And I dare say, to some extent, that's why you're here today, Jacob. So let me just say that what we're going to do today, and by now, we have JP Zagrand here, and we have and, and Dimitri Vianos, the two co-directors of the Financial Markets Group. Uh, and one of them is going to help me unveil this. Now, I, I, I've got no idea what's under here. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got a horrible fear. It, if, it, if it's like, if it's like, given that today, by the way, is the anniversary of Oscar Wilde getting let out of Durham Jail, I was thinking about the, the picture of, <laughs> of, 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 of Dorian Gray. So be prepared to be shocked. So let's see. OK. So this is the Charles Goddard Library, supported by Dr. Jacob Horder and family, and there's some text here. So thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, David, uh, Professor Goodhart, all of you. A uh, few words from me. First, a uh, personal note about the school. First of all, when, you, when you've heard me speak, you'll understand why my wife's a stand-up comedian, not me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, get, getting back to it, uh, a few notes about the, personal notes about the school. Uh, I was fortunate enough to come here in the late 80s and study up through the 90s at, at the LSE. I came as a general course student and, and became an undergraduate here, um, and indeed did take monetary economics. I came from a, I would say, reputable academic institution on the continent. Uh, shall rename unnamed, but I think uh, what was absolutely uh, mind expanding for someone coming from the continent to the LSE was the intersection between first class academic rigor and the real world. Uh, I, and, and now looking back and having visited many other universities, uh, I think uh, LSE in that sense is really unique. Uh, and uh, I guess uh, some of it was through the creation of the FMG uh, that sort of enhanced that. But I can tell you, for a first-year undergrad, it, it mattered. It really mattered. So that, that's, that's the first thing I want to say. It was absolutely fantastic, and I think a unique thing, and a, a life-changing experience to come here uh, as a student. So uh, that's why it's great to be back, back at the school always. Uh, second second uh, uh, point I want to make is uh, about uh, Professor Goodhart. Uh, I was fortunate to have uh, Professor Goodhart as, uh, as, a, as, a, as a lecturer during uh, my, my first year here, uh, and uh, obviously as, as, as uh, recognized by all of you, and a top-class academic, but also a fantastic teacher, uh, interweaving practice and academics in a way that I've seen no one else do. Uh, and. Uh, I was looking for my copy of Money, Information, and Uncertainty. I couldn't find it, but I promise you I read it many times, and I'm still trying to understand it, but it was wonderful to be in your lectures. Uh, and, 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 and I should also say, Charles, even after, uh, I was lucky enough to overlap with him at, at Morgan Stanley, where I work these days, uh, for a few years, but also outside of that, Charles is always interested and generous with his time and, uh, you know, uh, acute mind on the problems even of today. Uh, you know, his latest book with Manoj uh, Pratan, who is a, a former colleague and a friend of mine, is, is a testament to that. And by the way, is, 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 is a very, very important contribution to uh, the debate around inflation. So fortunate to have had Charles uh, as, as, as a professor here. Uh, and, and, and immensely grateful for the experience and, and all I took with it. And of course, all the other brilliant academics uh, I got to interact with here. Uh, and of course, David as well. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, 
cleverly said. Uh, Appreciate it by further. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and lastly, I should say um, it has been staggering to see the transformation of the campus here uh, in the last, probably accelerating the last decade. And I've been, been fortunate to be uh, invited back here by Nicola and, and Julian, uh, who I certainly saw earlier, has been kind uh, over there back, has been kind enough to, to, to show me uh, um, the, the progress and, and, and the new buildings. And obviously this building is absolutely fantastic building, uh, I think, and uh, triumph. I think you could say this building is. Uh, and it is uh, obviously for me a, a, a great honor to be able to participate in, in recognizing Charles and doing it in this building. And so I want to thank uh, the school for the opportunity to do that and thank Charles for both the education and also uh, the opportunity to be part of this. So with that, thank you very much and uh, good luck. I suppose I'd better say a few words. <laughs> <laughs> Though I, I can't possibly com I compete with David, I know, who's so much better at these things. So we had a wonderful time, um, David and I. And uh, David really ran the FMG for a, a very, very long time. And the success that the FMG has had is very largely owing to him. Uh, and nothing today is owing to me. It's owing to Jacob by putting up a lot of the money. It's owing to Dimitri and JP for doing the organization. I haven't had to do anything. I haven't done anything, <laughs> uh, except rather unkindly comment about Ricardo's comments about the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, which, which was really because actually they are going out to Hong Kong and trying to solve their, their crisis uh, and helping to establish a, a stable uh, currency board relationship it was actually one of the, 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 one of the many highlights uh, of my academic career. Um, and I've always thought that the purpose of being an academic was to try and improve the way the world works. Um, I don't think it's a sensible idea to be an academic unless you are or try to be practical. Um, uh, <coughs> and I really haven't much to say except thank you. Also, I have to say that when you get to my age, it becomes actually quite difficult to stand on your feet for this <laughs> long time. So we're going to bring it to a fairly quick halt. Um, I don't know, are you intending to show um, the people actually where the library is, because it's yeah, just around the corner. Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I hope that you're going to take everyone around there. Yes. Uh, give me a chance to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let the JB and me, we will say a few things. Uh, kind of, uh, okay, I will say three things. First of all, okay, we're going to go and visit the library. This is not the library, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to go out and then um, make a um, a left and then a, uh, and then a right anyway. We're going to be walking with you and kind of showing you around. We should not all of us go together to the library because the library is a much smaller room than, than this one. Just uh, kind of, uh, in, we can go in, ba kind of, uh, in batches and kind of take our time and we can stay here, have a drink, go to the library, come back. So that's one. Second, we have um, got this um, um, uh, bookcase in the library where we have um, a Charles kind of very, generously donated his uh, books to us, his book collection, so we, uh, so we have uh, uh, arranged them there, and uh, some of, uh, many, many of them, so JP will tell us a bit more about the, uh, the way kind of he, he, he put a lot of work on that, kind of he will tell us how, how the books were organized. And the final thing that I will say is that we have some photos in the library that you will enjoy seeing, kind of uh, this capture kind of the various eras of the FMG, like David said, kind of the whole history of the FMG. So we have some uh, portrait photos of the FMG's founding fathers, so Mervyn, <laughs> Charles, and kind of and very key people at the FMG's history that you're going to see, David and others. And then we have uh, some collages, uh, which are, uh, we have the 
uh, three collages, which are different periods of the FMG history. We call it the old guard. We call them when J with JP when we're working on these uh, photos, the, new, the middle guard and the new guard. So you can figure out which one is which. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy that. JP, you want to maybe say a few things? About I, I can say just a few things. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, today I had the four things I love uh, in my life. I had Charles and all his wisdom. I had Jakob, whom I met in Chicago, and maybe introduced to your wife even, who knows, who knows? <laughs> we talk about it after, after, after some, uh, some wine. The FMG, the CD environment we're in here, which is, uh, which is fantastic, and books. I love books. Those who know me uh, know that I love books. I collect books. Today is the public opening of London First. So if you become a book collector, you can go there and start your collection uh, today. And as Dimitri said, I'm very happy that Charles gave his books, including his papers and all of the stuff that will go into the library. And a, lot be, a lot more to come. <laughs> and we, will make, we, will make, we will make space for that. And so it's a fantastic thing to have Charles's book. So many books, you can't necessarily see it, but have inscriptions of the authors that, who gave the book to Charles. So every book, I try to keep a history of where the book came from and the importance of the book in relationship to Charles and, and the FMG. And the last thing I want to say is that Hyun today gave us this fantastic line, with which I will stop today, which is that the burgomasters of Amsterdam handed down the books to the next generation. Uh, and that's exactly what Charles has been doing for us, and we are very grateful for that. And for Jakob for allowing us to do just that. Thank you. Thank you very much.